Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Leo. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. All of your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you're connected to energetically, romantically, someone you're thinking about, and someone who is thinking about you. I will be using the Mystical Manga cards by Ren and Barbara Moore for you and for your person i will be using the fortune telling tarot deck by yoshi takamano and if clarifiers are needed the manga tarot by selena lynn so let's get started i'm recording this message for the energies of june but i ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you need to hear it the spirit what is the heart of the matter for leo what are some things going on in the daily life? Could be affecting the connection. What is happening in the heart space? How is Leo feeling? How are they feeling about their person? How are they feeling? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? Beautiful. Okay, I like your energies. I feel like there's a shift going on here, Leo, and it's very positive. Okay, let's see what's going on for your person. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter for Leo's person? What is the heart of the matter for the person connected to or coming towards Leo or on Leo's mind? What is the heart of the matter? What are some things going on in their daily life? Could be affecting the connection. What is happening in their heart space? How do they feel? How do they feel about you? That one just jumped right out. That's interesting. I feel like this card also jumped out oh, for one of my readings yesterday, but I'm not sure which one of the two it was, but it jumped out just like that. Same placement, same card. So what intentions does this person have towards this connection? What intention does this person have? And what is a potential outcome in the near future? Oh my goodness, Leo. What is going on? Okay. For whenever you are meant to hear this message. Heart of the matter, Ten of Wands. Um, could have a Sagittarius on your mind or have that strong in your chart, but really it is the energy of wrapping up a burdensome, challenging, difficult cycle. I feel like you've been heading towards something, working towards something, and you can see the finish line. You can see... Um, you can see home like this person in the traditional tarot can like see the little castle or the little manor but in the traditional tarot they have so many wands in front of their face they can't even hardly see in front of them now this person this in this card has thrown nine of those wands over their shoulder and is carrying that ace of wands this person can see clearly and I always feel like the imagery for the decks I'm guided to use in each reading is specific and I feel like some of the challenges some of the burdens um, you've gotten more clear, Leo. You've gotten more clear about what's important to you. You've gotten more clear about what you want to focus on and what you put your energy into. And because of that, you're wrapping up something. You're wrapping up a challenging um, cycle. And we are looking at love and how you're feeling about this person. So if you have been carrying like the energy or the way of a connection or carrying somebody in your heart or feeling on your own um, in this connection, you are wrapping up that cycle. Like you are coming home. And, um, and for me, home in a love reading is all about the union, about the connection, about the relationship with a person that is really, truly right for you, a match for you. Your person has a nine of pentacles. Virgo energy could be significant here, but this is somebody who has gotten some things sorted out. They found a little bit more of their own independence. This is somebody who is single, they're, you know, or they're like just focused on you, not focused on anyone else. They know who they are. They know what it is that they want in a connection and it's a beautiful energy because you've got to have this nine of pentacles energy and i'm going to go ahead and pull it out of the traditional tarot um so we can look at it but um you got to have that nine of pentacles energy before you can be in the ten of pentacles like you have to be in that beautiful energy of feeling good about yourself on your own knowing where you're at what it is you want you've got to be in that beautiful energy um 
before you can come together with somebody from like this healthy, good, evolved, stable place and attract in somebody who's also in a good place. And then you can have that incredible 10 of pentacles we're all looking for. And you've got that coming up here, like strong. Um, nine of pentacles for your person. I do feel like they are in an energy of they found more balance. And maybe that's why you're not caring so much. Maybe if for, you know, for a while you were doing the majority or maybe the communication, maybe in a connection like that, you know, the extra things or caring a lot on your own. This person has found some st stability and they have more to bring to the table now. So... In your daily life, you have the Seven of Wands. I love this energy, and this is Leo energy. This is all about healthy boundaries. This is a hero's card. This is somebody saying no to what doesn't serve so they can say yes to what matters, yes to what's meaningful. This is not letting everybody around you tell you what you gotta be, what you gotta do, how you gotta spend your time, you know, all of that. And it's you saying, no, I know who I am. And I feel like that's how you're kind of shifting and changing things around around here at this 10 of wands and wrapping up this old burdensome cycle of carrying a lot or maybe doing a lot on your own is because you're saying no you know I'm not going to do everything for everybody else I'm going to do what I know in my heart is right for me and you're you're all going to be fine like everyone's responsible for their own stuff and I almost get this sense just with these two cards starting out here that maybe a lot of different people have been putting their things on you or maybe somebody in this connection has been expecting you to carry the weight of things and that's not your job a true healthy loving connection connection both people are all in and it's wonderful like I know it took me years to figure that out and find it and I love it and it, sometimes it takes boundaries sometimes it says, takes saying no to people who aren't doing their part you know or communicating your needs but you're taking a stand Leo you're getting some things sorted out and I love that your person for their daily life has a five of cups and a two of cups so this is very interesting to me the way the two of these came out together something is shifting with this person because with the five of cups that is that energy being so discouraged about the things that gone wrong the things that have spilled the things that haven't worked out you don't even see that two of cups that is still standing there but they've got the five of cups with the two of cups so it's like this person is beginning to realize what really matters in life in this connection scorpio energy cancer energy could be significant here but i feel like this person could have been discouraged could have even been wallowing with that five of cups feeling like oh well, it's me nothing's gonna work out you know but something shifted something with you and clearly you're taking some initiative in your life I don't know what's going on in this connection but you're taking some personal initiative and for some reason it's getting the attention of this person it's drawing them more and more towards you when they feel for you what you feel for them and it's there's something that you're doing that's like causing them to see you from a different perspective and see everything and the tables are turning like they're looking away from everything that's gone wrong everything's been and discouraging or difficult and they're seeing that two of cups the potential of that loving balance connection and look at you in your heart space more strong leo energy you are showing up with a six of wands this is somebody showing up in a good way in a positive way like you are looking impressive you know you're looking like you've been um doing some really really good things like on your own for yourself or maybe for others you know but you've gotten clear about some things and you're just looking really good like that's just this, this energy that I'm getting here the six of wands is somebody returning home after a battle because the five of wands is a battle and the challenge somebody returning home sh showing up and being so welcomed and when I say returning home it doesn't mean like coming home to someone or anything like that as I said home is just a connection it's a love it's a, it's a relationship it's something balanced that feels like home and this is you getting clear in your heart about what feels right to you the kind of person like I said that and the kind of connection you really want and you're doing your part like you're putting in the energy and you are showing up for this and I feel like this person is seeing it in a big way because in their heart space they have the knight of cups and like I said this flew out like just flew out and it same thing happened in one of the readings yesterday Gemini or Cancer I can't remember but um but this person I feel like whatever you're doing Leo like you are on and you are being noticed like you are showing up in a way that this person I feel like they can't take their eyes off you can't take their mind off you more strong Scorpio energy you could be strong in your chart of your persons but this is somebody who with the knight of cups in their heart space is very sure 
by the day, like every day more and more how they feel about you. And it can be somebody falling in love. It can be somebody making romantic gestures. But Leo, it's all connected to you. Just, I don't know, I feel like just taking some initiative, setting up some healthy boundaries, communicating some needs and, you know, and being ready to move forward to something that's really meaningful to you. For your intentions, you've got the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, it's a stable energy. It's a secure energy. Um, it Sometimes this energy can be like a little bit, um, like not taking a move, making move forward because there's some sort of fear of losing something or losing some sort of stability or something like that. It's uh Capricorn energy could be significant, but let's go ahead and see what this is all about because sometimes it's holding on really tight, you know, holding on tight to someone, holding on in your heart, but sometimes it's not necessarily making a move, but you've got all this like fiery, passionate energy here. So Spirit, why do we have Four of Pentacles? Wow, interesting. Okay, go ahead and take this, these two cards from the bottom of the deck because they're important. Um, we have the Four of Pentacles clarified by the Hanged Man with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Leo, this is you. This is something that you're doing, something that's shifting and changing in you. Something about you getting really sure about what it is you want, the kind of connection you want, the kind of love you want, and like bringing that in. Because what I have here with the Four of Pentacles and the Hanged Man with this Ten of Cups and Ace of Wands is somebody who is not chasing someone, not going after someone, especially someone who isn't showing up and treating you right. This is somebody who is holding out for the real deal. This is somebody who is working on their, their security, getting some things sorted out, getting clear in their mind. And this is somebody who's going to move forward when they know that things are right. The hanged man energy is Pisces energy could be significant, but a lot of people get this idea that the hanged man is about being waiting or stuck. It's not. We're never stuck ever. The only place we're ever stuck is in our mind. We can move forward at anytime. Some, this is the energy of sometimes the universe divine, your higher self, basically, will put something on hold while you get clear about it, while you get focused, while you get your mind right. Because if you take a step forward and your mind isn't right, you're not aligned with divine, it's not going to go the way that you want. And this, and the universe is saying, you know, your divine higher self, whatever you want to call it, is like, pause and get your things, you know, your energy sorted out. Get clear about what you want. And that's when you make a move. And look at this. You've got the 10 of cups and the ace of wands which means i feel like you are not chasing you're not going to settle you are holding out um for the ten of cups and the ace of wands somebody who shows up in a passionate exciting positive fun way with emotional happiness the ten of cups is the whole thing that is somebody who shows up and shows up to stay, shows up in a positive way. This is somebody you can laugh with, somebody you can enjoy. This is the real deal. So I feel like, I almost feel like I might be picking up because there's like this healthy boundaries energy and wrapping up these old cycles and waiting for like the right thing that um, you could be holding out for somebody to shift in a connection. You know, somebody's on your mind to show up for you in the way you know deserve for someone to show up or you could be holding up for somebody something entirely new you know or you could be working through some things in a current connection to make things better to find some balance it's different for every single one of you so you have to listen to you know what resonates for you what makes sense with your story because I'm getting a lot of different stories here but overall the energy is I'm not putting up <laughs> I'm not putting up with someone who doesn't doesn't show up right and there's something about that energy that is like making somebody do a double take and is really seeing you drawn to you and showing up their intentions are the ace of swords this person is beginning to see and think completely different the ace of swords libra gemini aquarius energy could be significant here oh aries leo sagittarius and more pisces here with this ten of cups could all be strong you're a chart your person's um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy for the Ace of Swords, but really what this is all about is somebody getting a new perspective, a fresh perspective, getting very clear about you. They're, they're, 
you are very much on their mind and they're thinking about you quite a lot. With the Ace of Swords, that can be like a decisive new beginning. So I'm just kind of curious what that is all about. Wow. This is, this is what I'm talking about. Hair font on the bottom of the deck. Definitely like a real positive, strong commitment coming in. But this is the Ace of Swords with the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is the equal give and take. The Six of Pentacles is somebody putting in as much as you're putting in. And there's something about you, whether you're communicating it directly with your with someone, whether you're just taking some time for yourself to, you know, just get some things clear on your own, or you're holding out for somebody who's going to show up right. Right. Whatever the case is, uh, and like I said, it's different for every one of you, you are letting the universe know, this is what I need. This is who I am. This is, I'm ready for somebody who shows up and does their part and lets me know how interested they are. You know, somebody who texts me back. I mean, that's such a, it's such a thing. It doesn't have to be right this second. I have dear, dear friends. I love with my whole heart. They take three days to reply to a text, but they always do. And I know they love me and I don't even question it, you know, but it's so funny because, and then I have some that like seconds later, you know, but I know when you're in a connection and you're really nervous about somebody and you like them and you text them and then you don't get it like right back it's hard to be like chill like when you send a message to a friend you know long distance friend or something and know that oh they could be like working like I have this friend who's in healthcare and works like these crazy double shifts and she gets back when she gets back you know and we keep different hours and I always know I'm going to hear back from her but when it's your crush when it's a person you like when it's a person you haven't heard from it's like there's so many like nerves behind that but there's something about this person is absolutely like ready to come all in, ready to return those messages, ready to send those messages, ready to show up, ready to do their part. And it's because of these like healthy boundaries you've set. Like this is an exciting reading. I don't usually get, I tend to get, I mean, you all watch my readings. I will get like these really intense, like soul, and there is a strong soul connection here for some of you, but intense, like, you know, soulmate kind of things, or I'll get like really romantic and it's all here, but there's something about the energy Energy of you with all these wands that I'm getting something very positive like someone is really showing up and really taking notice of you because of you and it's very clear here in your potential outcome you got the queen of wands strong Aries energy um, Sagittarius and and Leo as well um, but when I see like a court card show up in somebody's reading like this is you like, this is you. This is your energy. This is you taking initiative, doing what you love, doing what you're passionate about. And all of a sudden, it's almost like you aren't even really paying attention or worried so much about all this. You're doing what feels right to you. And then all of a sudden, you've got the judgment card, a page of pentacles, and a ten of pentacles. A turning point here. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy with all these pentacles here. But the judgment card is putting the past in the past once and for all. Somebody making a decision to do things different, to do things in a new way. This is when you begin to experience heaven on earth and it is possible. It's what we're meant to experience. We're born to align with divine and have our dreams come true. And people don't always realize that, but that's really how it's meant to be. It took me a long time to realize that. But the universe, our guide, source, divine is like doing everything to line us up with our best life. And all we have to do is match up with that energy and just let it flow towards us. And it's the same with love. And that's what you're doing. You're getting so clear, Leo, that there's a huge turning point and look what comes in. Somebody with a solid, stable, positive offer and with the 10 of pentacles, this is someone who's coming in to stay. This is a connection that is lasting. I do feel like this person has been sorting some things out. I do feel like they've been finding their way, finding their strength, finding their independence, overcoming from some sort of past thing. But it, the, the, the way you're showing up and the way you're expressing yourself has this person falling so hard for you that they're ready to do what it takes with the Ace of Swords and Six of Pentacles and show up in the way you need and deserve. And that's because that's the energy you're putting out in the, I love these, your pot potential outcome cards for your person is the Eight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Empress, 
and six of pentacles again. So you have the six of pentacles twice. It's so funny because I did this clarifier for the ace of swords and my guides are like, it's the six of pentacles. It's sitting right there next to it, you know. Um, but I guess I needed that message twice. This is about somebody showing up and doing their part. And it's so important. And there's something about you believing that, believing that you're worthy of that, being aware of that, that causes this person to energetically feel it. Like they take notice. You might not even say a word, but they take notice of this energetic shift. Because when you're in a strong connection with someone and you have feelings for one another, you pick up on each other's energies. They can feel it. And this person has an eight of wands, 10 of pentacles, and an empress card. Sagittarius energy, Virgo, Taurus, Libra here for me as a reader, um, and then more Taurus with that six of pentacles. But this is messages, communication, forward motion. It can be things moving fast, faster than you even realize. It's like you are turning this person's head in a big way and they can't help but notice they're having all these two of cups feelings for you like i really like leo i hope they like me back and then all of a sudden messages this can be talking all night this can be i mean with the eight of wands sometimes this can be somebody like flying to see you you know i mean it's like eight wands just flying through the air like movement energy but it's connected to the ten of pentacles the empress and the six of pentacles which means this is somebody coming in to stay this is somebody coming in with this equal balanced give and take because they are seeing you as the empress here. They are seeing you as the one. And do you know why they're seeing you that way? Because Leah, look at this. You are seeing yourself with all this beautiful energy and people can't help but be drawn to someone who is seeing themselves in this clear, beautiful light and recognize you for the empress that you are. So. That is a message I have for you. I love it. I'm excited about it. I never know what I'm going to get when I sit down for these readings. And when I get like a super like charged up, like positive message like this with some deep love and some equal give and take for me as a reader, I'm thrilled. I want to thank whoever is putting out that energy that I connect, that I'm connecting with that let me get into this energy because I get to enjoy it when I do readings. Like I ask spirit to connect me in with the people that are going to um, that are going to watch, but I get to enjoy the energy. So I'm, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for you, Leo. So if you like the reading, please put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if something spoke to you and you'd like to order a personal reading, my website is charitychanice.com. I do have the emergency readings back up. I take them down when I get too many and then I put them back up again. So the 24 hour readings are back up and then all my other readings are delivered in a week. So, um, I also have a lot of other things on my website. I don't know if a lot of people know. I, um, I'm an artist and I write poetry and I publish books. And I've done all of this for years. And so I have tons of other stuff on my website as well. So if you're curious and want to get to know me, you can check it out. But anyway, I love you all so much. I appreciate you so much. And I will talk to you soon.